What's up, everyone? I'm Poker Trainer Nick, and I'm with Maria. And we're going to be opening up another small PSA Pokemon card return in this video. So, up on my desk, you'll notice that I do have the very small PSA return. There's actually 20 cards in there. Uh, before we get to opening it, I want to go ahead and put that reminder out there for you to hit that like button on the video and then subscribe to our channel. Um, now this particular box, I have the PSA website open. I know that it's not you're not gonna be able to see it, but I'm just looking at date information regarding this particular shipment um, because people are curious and I was curious when I was doing it, when I was first sending it in myself. Uh, but I actually sent this in November 2020. So that's a long time ago, we're in 2022. Um, so I sent it in in November, it was received by PSA on November 30th, and then it was entered into the PSA system on February 10th, 2021. Um, so it wasn't entered into their system for several months after. Um, and if you recall, um, we did a PSA opening recently as well. Um, that one was actually entered on February 3rd. So we're looking at seven days difference and the actual arrival time for these cards was, uh, I mean, arrival time to our house to open. We're, we're looking at about a month difference. So seven days turned into a month of their of their grading time. Um, so it was a, it's been more than a year. Uh, we are very happy to receive them. Um, so Maria, are you excited to see what's inside of them? I am excited. All right. So I'm going to open it. I'm not going to do it on my desk because I did cause damage last time, but we're going to just put them on after. So I got the box open. I've said this before, PSA, they, they pack their boxes incredibly tight compared to CGC, which is the only other vendor that I've used. Um, and uh, hopefully there's no damage. I haven't received any PSA damage in the past, so I think we should be good. Maria, do you want to take the first card? We don't, we don't know what's here. It's been more than a year. No. The Japanese card. And I don't think these are any of my cards, so I'm just excited to open them. Ooh, a Cedra 10. We are what? off to a good start again. Gen Mint 10 for Cedra. Um, this is, uh, what set is this? Uh, I think that's Jim, Jim. Uh, oh, it says right here. Jim Heroes. <laughs> Something like that, one of those. Um, the Japanese sets are a little weird to me. Misty Cedra, wow. That's awesome. That's our first 10 of yeah, the day. Yeah, this is vintage right here. I remember I remember picking up these cards in San Francisco and Japantown. Like these, this was a legit thing for me. Yep, it has this nice little swirl on there too. Very nice. nice. Starting off great. So we're uh, we're doing another vintage Japanese card here. And we have a, a five. five. <laughs> a total, total difference here on uh, the two grades here. We have a Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. I see a little, maybe a little imperfection down at the bottom. I, I believe it. There's some uh, uh, rough parts on the edges right here and right there. Oh, and, oh, okay. So the thing that really gets you is the folds. There's a little fold on the card right here on the on the corner. So that's where you lose a lot of your, uh, your points for grading there. So I actually remember these cards before I sent them. So... Um, they were just in a box. They weren't even in sleeves. So they were, mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised that that Cedra uh, that got the grade that it got. So, hey, it's still pretty cool. All right. You're up, Maria. Another go. Japanese. Ooh, Meganium. Nice. Nine. So this was in the box, huh? Uh, yeah. I, I had a special Very section for nice. these random Japanese cards in the box that... But, I was a kid. I didn't. I didn't know what I was very, doing with the Japanese cards back then. Very nice. Very beautiful card. Meganium was was cool. Yeah, and a nine. That's not bad. So what am I gonna get? Like a two? I'm getting all the all the low grades here. This is another <laughs> Japanese card. A ten. Another ten. Ampharos, and this Ampharos. is a hollow. Wow. My goodness. That is awesome. We're hitting gold here with uh, PSA here today. Ampharos was always my uh, electric type when I played the the uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. See, if if I was, I mean, they're trained at PSA. If I didn't know better, I thought this was all dirt on the card, but I guess it's just part of the card design. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the design. <laughs> I'm glad they know better than me. Very nice. Two tens already. All right, so here we go with the American card. So, English. Or English card. I, I, I can use that too because I know that Pokemon expands beyond just America. <laughs> and all right, a nine for this First gambler edition, card. Fossil. Very, very nice. 
You're getting some good grades on these. Yeah, with the random, uh, <laughs> that random card. <laughs> <laughs> so first edition base, oh wait, no, fossil, fossil yeah. set. There's probably going to be a lot more vintage in here as well. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look. Another Electabuzz. So uh, I have a whole stack of them here as well. <laughs> uh, I even have a CGC one of these uh, as well here. I have a lot of these Pokemon first movie cards. Uh, so I don't know how I ended up with so many of them back then, but uh, they're cool to have. And this is an eight. This isn't, I don't think this is the best score I've had, but no. it's still pretty good. Is there going to be more movie cards in there? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It's probably going to be a Mewtwo, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, no, it's a Paris. And it's a six. It's a six. So obviously played card. Um, very nice. Pokemon Jungle. So we'll just put it right Classic. here. Classic. There's the Parasect. The Parasect of five. Of five. <laughs> Still first edition. Was this yeah. a rare? No, that was an uncommon. Interesting that you sent a Parasect out of Paris. Their first grade. edition, I figured they're part of history. They're worth grading. There we go. Dragonite, the movie. Didn't my last part. Dragonite get a six as well? I possibly. Oh, is that a day? Oh, okay. I thought that was. Oh, you know what? That is damage. It's a scratch. Uh, I think that's how they seal them, isn't it? No, I think that's from your blade. Oh, from my knife? Did I knife? Oh, man. So instead of, I guess, maybe instead of knifing my desk this time and creating a hole, I created a small hole in one of these cards. <laughs> Uh, that's okay, win. though. We already have a graded dragon. I think you got the same score, too. I, I Honestly, I think that's so insignificant. I don't think it'll hurt the value of it. It's still nice. The collector's value. Uh, right. Like I said, I think the other Dragonite we had also has... Anyway, like I said, I think the other Dragonite that we had also had a grade of six. So. Yeah. All right, here we go. Electabuzz 8. 8. My gosh, I, how many of these are in this? Here. How many of these are in my collection? I don't know. Go ask like your, I, your two years ago self. <laughs> I feel like I have like eight of these Electabuzzes now. Oh, there we go. Oh, Charmander from Vivid Voltage. Like cutie patootie. It's a very, very cute Charmander. That's why I sent it in. It was cool art. I like the, yeah. I like the very flat, colorful art on the cards. It's very, very nice. There's not too many of those. Very cute. Jolteon. Jolteon. Vivid Voltage. Ooh, a 10. Very yeah. nice. This It is a rare. It is a rare. That's cool. It goes good with the Jolteon skateboard back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which, uh, we, which we opened up in another video on the channel. All That's right. Nice. Not bad. We had, what is this? Three tens so tens. far. Three tens. That's the most we've ever had, I think. That's magic. One, two, three. Another 10. This is the Alolan Exeggutor. Is that a promo Very card? Very nice. Uh, no, right? It, oh, no, this is not a promo card, I think. I don't recall. Alter I don't recall what the A means I in there. I don't know what that means either. I'm trying to think. Oh, is it an alternate? or? No, this is Alolan. I don't know, I don't know what the A means, um, but yeah. it's a yellow Altera. I don't know what that means. All right, not bad. Very cool card, though. I've never seen this one before. This is. I, I think it came special. out of a blister. It might have been the promo card in a blister. Mm, all right, well, that makes sense. That's cool. Another 10. That's four. Nice. Four I like the Jolty on that. Wow. Damn. Ooh. Torkoal. Why did I send this one? I don't know. This is, this is bringing back the memories of those CGC uh, shipments that I sent in that had the most random cards ever. Um, I think it was, oh yeah, I remember. So this is a 20 card shipment. So this was a value shipment. So I was trying to reach 20 cards in order to get that tier. Um, so I, uh, I think this was a filler card. Oh, poor Torkoal. You get the filler. Yeah, I don't, filler name I, tag. I don't think I would naturally choose that one as, as one to send. Ooh, Bolton, a 10 on this Bolton V. Nice. Very nice. From Rebel Clash. Cute one. Very nice. A ten, another 10. Wow, that's five. Five tens. Here we go. A, a nine. nine for Dialga GX from Ultra Prism. Wow, that's a nice one. I haven't seen Ultra Prism in a while. <laughs> I know. It was more than a year ago. <laughs> oh, wow. 
That's how long we've had these cards gone. Here we go. Ooh, nice. from Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's the Full Art Snorlax V, a 10. I'm glad that's in there. That is a beautiful card. This Can't is probably tell. the best one right now so far. You think that's your favorite one? So far out of the 10s, yes. Very, very nice. You don't like the Japanese card that we pulled first? Well, I did like the Japanese card. We got the Ampharos and the Seedra. Those are pretty dope. Eek. We're going to have to reevaluate this at the this end. This is good. All right, this is an exciting opening. Mewtwo wow. from XY Evolutions. Very nice. We Mewtwo didn't come EX. up with that many Evolutions packs, so this is this is quite a card for us to have. Yes, a nine out of it. That's I assume good. it's because it was off center. That one looks a little. Yeah, it's a little off center from left to right. That's a cool one. Very nice. Two cards. All righty, here we go. A Rayquaza from Vivid Voltage. I remember that. It's amazing rare. Wasn't that my first ever Vivid Voltage pack? I got that. Um, I don't remember. It's been a while. I feel like it was. I was hoping, though, that that would have been a 10. That is still a cool card because it's off center. I think that's where yeah. you think this the most from left to right again. Um, oh, yeah. You can definitely see here how off center it is. All right. Well, it's not like I had extra of those to send in. So no, <laughs> We've been struggling to get those amazing rares. So. All right. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. Oh. And a trainer card. <laughs> it's a seven. <laughs> Energy search. First edition. Back fossil. in the day, this was a very useful card for your. <laughs> yeah, your it's funny deck. how the vintage ones though are all yellowed. I don't know if that's the natural color of the card or if that's just because it's in poor shape and that's why it graded poorly. I'm not sure. Like, look how yellow it looks it is in comparison. Very all right, so that's our only seven. So we have quite a, quite a lineup here, of yeah. cards. Let's crack open those tens. Let's look at only the tens. Because. We we haven't pulled a CGC ten yet. Best no. we've gotten from CGC was a nine. Yeah, I've uh, heard it's very difficult to see yeah. get a CGC ten. So, all right, I think the Japanese cards are my favorite. And those are really really nice. They're uh, hollows. They are great. They're classics. They're vintage. They're highly recognizable. This mm -hmm. is the only Ampharos that we actually like. Uh, <laughs> Besides being trolled by so many battle <laughs> styles and all these modern sets. Giving you an Ampharos on every yeah. every every rare card. And Ampharos is a hollow rare. Yeah. Here. It's not a just a a regular rare saying hello. You still liking that Snorlax the best? Uh you know what? I really like the color of the full art cards. I think that's that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. It is pretty good. It is a very nice card. All right yep. then. Um I think that's it. Uh, I just want to put it out there before I put out another plug is I actually do have a comparison video that compares the PSA slabs versus the CGC slab. So keep your eyes open for it, uh, because if you're torn between which service you should use, uh, it's worth checking out. Um, until next time, Maria, do you have anything else to add? No, not yet. All right, then have have a great rest of your day.